Welcome back to the channel, friends. So today we're gonna clean up the tow beast here today and get her all cleaned up and got some accessories to get put on her. So we already got the back of the rig washed the other day, I think it was. So anyway, I'm not gonna show you that, but we're gonna wash the truck a uh, very similar way. Um, spray off all the, the heavy dirt first, um, and then we're gonna soap it all down, and then get our wool pad out, and uh, get it scrubbed down a little bit, make sure everything comes off of it, and then we'll just rinse it off and let it dry. And then I'll get out the accessories that we're gonna install, and I'll show those to you too. So, stick around. So I've already got it set up. I'm gonna show you guys what we got to put on the truck here. It's the same thing I took off our other truck. So I think I'll be able to hopefully remember how it goes back on. Should be about the same, shouldn't be too hard. Um, let me show you what we got here. So we got the Vi-Air onboard compressor with the two and a half gallon tank. Um, you know, associated wiring, gotta figure this all back out couple of hoses so I got the the pigtail hose and I got the big big one for the tires over here we have the airlift 5000 ultimate plus um, they, these are some good airbags uh, plenty size plenty enough size for this truck even um, and the great thing about these these are specific to vehicles and these ones actually swap directly from the 2019 to the 2020 uh, the 2019 f350 to the 2020 f450 um, so we don't have to repurchase airbags and, and that's a plus and then over here we have the compressor system for the airbags it's the wireless one system um, and again i got all this wiring i've got to try to remember how it goes because it's been a couple months since we took it off um, so these being specific to the vehicles I think this will be wired up the exact same way without any problems. This here, however, may change because the location of the upfitter switches had actually changed. Um, so they moved it from the left-hand side under the hood um, where you find the, the ends of the wires to inside the, inside the truck um, in the passenger side footwell. Um, so we will have to do a little configuration on that um, yes I am the guy that has two air compressors on his truck don't ask me why uh, I just I like my like my my gear you know so uh, where we're going to install it obviously the airbags go under it but the the air tank sits directly behind the toolbox uh, up against the bulkhead and then the air compressor sits next to it. Um, I, I never actually wired this up. It's just there to, I don't know. It's just there because it needs to be there. So um, with that said, let me, let me get it going. Let me, oh wait, so I'm not gonna get the install done today because that Hurricane Zelda or whatever is coming in through the Gulf, and we're supposed to get some some rain up through here uh, tomorrow and Friday. So I'm not going to get too far along to where I'm going to get rained out or I can't get it finished. So um, stick around. Let's see where we can get. I'm going to get the toolbox off of there and see if we can't get the compressor and tank mounted at least. Okay, here's how we had it 
in the other truck. Now, like I said, I don't know if this is the way it's going to be in this truck because of the relocation of the upfitter switches. I do hook this to an upfitter switch so I can just kick it on from inside the truck. Um, so let me get that figured out and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm per pretty sure the owner's manual said these wire, the upfitter switch wires were in this kick plate, but all I found was these PTO wires. Um, but this is what we're looking for, these blunt, blunt cut wires that have been sealed off. Um, so I did find them in the truck. So we are on the passenger side of the truck. And I did find them, the relay box for the upfitter switches sets right here um and then the blunt cut wires for them are underneath of it so then they were wrapped all up in in plastic so we got to uh unwrap the plat or on the tape i mean this tape um so we had to undo all those and these are all labeled so hopefully they didn't damage the wires but anyway um i'm gonna find which color i need and figure out which switch I'm going to use and the second thing is conversely we're going to have to switch switch the compressor side so I had it running like this in the other truck because the upfitter switches were on the left side of the um, engine compartment now that it is determined it is on the right side we're gonna have to go like this and mount mount like this and this to there run it there so that's how we're gonna do it and then again my toolbox sits here and it sits further enough forward that the tank sits behind and under it compressor sits to the right of it so that's how we're going to do it. All right, friends, we're back out here at the Tow Beast. So a lot's happened here in the last week or two, I, I reckon. Uh, I did not get the actual film filmed of the install. So we have been very busy around here and some laziness involved plus some bad weather. But what we're gonna do now is show you what we've done to wrap this video up. So got some supplies there for a small startup business that we're undertaking in order to be able to go full time and travel to work from home. So that's the idea behind all of that. So anyway, you can see I got the toolbox back in and I've got, can you, I hope you can see that. And I've got the, uh, I got the air tank and the compressor installed. And I did actually do something with this gauge. I don't, I didn't normally do anything with the gauge, but I'm doing something with the gauge now. So I did screw it to the truck, which I don't necessarily like doing, but I kind of like this being here it's secure it's out of the way and it's you know easy to read so i did get that installed like i said i did have to put it over here um and the air tank in the middle and the, and it hooked up just fine i did get it hooked to the upfitter switch so i can just kick it on from inside the truck now oh, this is a cool piece of wood that michelle found I don't know if we're going to do anything with it. Um, it was a tree that was cut down, and this is what the stump looked like. So we had the ranger come and cut us cut us off a little slab of it and quite possibly do something with that. I don't know. But as you can tell, I got the toolbox in, um, and it's where it's permanently mounted. So if you can see underneath, right there is the air tank. So... Well, that's what we did. I don't know. It works for now. I did get the airbags installed. 
Oh, one other thing. Let me show you. I put our air outlet right here. So we just plug in our hose. And that's where we're able to fill tires from or run pneumatic tools. Um, that's where I had it on my other truck as well. So that works out real well. Of course. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I didn't get a lot of the install filmed, but um, we got it done. That's the important part. I just didn't get it on film a lot. So um, with that being said, remember, this is our life. And you do you. <laughs>